It's going to be a continuation of these videos on uh, indirect percussion and uh, using heavy billets to thin real quick with. Uh, done a series on them and I'm going to do a, another continuation. I'm feeling a little better every day and get out here and do these things and uh, see what happens. Don't look like nothing's gonna happen on this one. <laughs> I can't hit it. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I talked about this when you get rusty and you haven't mapped in a while, your accuracy and you're hitting and get real off real quick. And uh, old muscle memory kind of fades out on you. That run done pretty good there though. I'm pleased with that one. Making some preforms for sale. That's about all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start selling knife handles out of antler and uh, preforms, and that's gonna be my limited. I'm not selling any more whole rocks or doing any more rock runs. I'll buy my rocks from somebody, make preforms out of them, and I'm not traveling anymore. All oh, that's coming to a halt. I think I said in my last video that I finally, after four months, got an appointment with a rheumatologist in Baton Rouge, and she did blood work. And uh, I'll go back next week, and she'll have all the results of blood work, and she'll start me on whatever she feels like I need to get on to help get me back to normal. And uh, I'm not going to talk about that no more. Been a long time coming to see somebody. I will talk about the old days. I think I liked the old days better when I was a kid. You break your leg, your arm, you go to the doctor and he sets it and that's about it. You cut yourself real bad and he'll sew it up. You got a kidney infection or something going on there, he'll take care of it and put you on the medicine pit. Uh, tonsil got to come out, he'll take them out. Got appendicitis, he'll take them out. Nowadays, you go to the doctor and he says, well, you got to see a surgeon, you got appendicitis. I'm not going to sew your finger up. you got to go to the emergency room and get your finger sewed up. I'm not going to do this. you got to go see a specialist for that. And every one of these son guns live in a different town just about, or, or you can't get a point with them right away. And I tell you, it's aggravating when you live in a small town like I do. Well, that's a good piece come off of that. Another good piece. Another good piece. I think I'm gonna stop this one. It's got a hinge in it. I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna stop it. Leave it a little thick so whoever buys it can get some practice on thinning it too. Temperature drops, it's like 50, been up 70s and 80s, it's like 56 degrees today. Real nice.
There we go. Get this piece out right here. I'll be done with this one. Be deepening it up a little bit. My my platform's on an angle. It's not straight across. So I'm not, I would lose a lot of the benefit of my shot wave if I hit just on the angle because it hit just a little bit of it instead of a lot of it. Now I'm going to get better shot wave. There we go. That one did pretty good. Alright, I'm gonna trim it up a little bit with this. Yeah. Try to thin the base a little bit. If I can hit it. <laughs> That didn't take but 999 try. <laughs> there we go. Having a hard time with this one little spot right here. I don't know why you can have a rock be so good. And then all of a sudden there's one little booger in it somewhere. I'm going to give you a problem. All right, I got that one out. that would be another one I'll sell. Well, if I can find it, I dropped it. I'm going to put it down there. We've got a piece of Georgetown right here. We're gonna play with. Yeah. Do a little bit more thinning on it with my hollow copper box before I start indirect. We'll run one this way to try to get that out like that. That way I saved my width. I went this way instead of across it. I was able to save a lot of width on it. Kept it pretty wide. That's a little bad place right here. It's gonna be kind of tricky. I'm gonna have to catch them just right. Just right angle. There we go. There we go. I got some right here. I'm gonna have to get below this one. So I hit way up high. You heard me talking about getting up above the center line, but hitting straight down when you do it. That's what I did then. You got below that dip. I had a low spot in there. If I'd have hit straight into it, the shot wave would've went in that low spot and it would've come out and it'd have been a hinge. That one did real good. Let's try this one here. Something else I don't know if you noticed or not, but uh, I'm using two different uh, billets here. This one is real heavy. It's got lead in the end of it. And that's for really moving a lot of mass. This one's not as heavy. Takes thinner pieces off. You don't have to move as much. That's where you use your weight again. I'm talking about using weight on your percussion billets when you're thinning. Same thing with indirect with me. I could be wrong. I'm no indirect expert at all. I've said this all to get long. I never heard of indirect a long, long time ago, and I thought the guy was crazy, and they're painting on mine. And then 
about 10 years ago, I ran into Jason Newman. He's doing it. And I said, man, that's the way to do this stuff. But uh, I just thought this old dog couldn't learn new habits. I'm so used to coming out in left field and percussion and hitting that song, going it? It's indirect. It's a whole different ball game. And I'm just now starting to fool with it and play with it. I wish I'd have started 20 years ago playing with it when I first saw it. I don't claim to be a expert at nothing, but I do know a lot about percussion. I've broken tons and tons and tons and tons of rocks in my time frame. Boy, that did good. I'm tickled paint with the way that was looking. Get this side to do good and then turn it over. The other side does half as good, I'll be happy. I'm still not strong. To do pressure flaking, so I'm using a little sharp horseshoe nail. You don't have to put as much pressure because it's a pinpoint and, the, and uh, don't take as much force to knock a flake off as it does if it was a round piece of copper. I don't move as much at the same time, but it does make it okay to set up a platform. All right, I think. This one's pretty good. A little high spot right there, I think, over knock out. And uh, like I say, some of them I leave, give you practice on them. Some of them I knock out, well, you got to just practice pressure placing or just a little more thinning. All these to learn on. When you buy these, you know it's good material. Because you're sitting there looking at it, it's already been worked down. Didn't get nothing with no holes in it and no junk. That one did real good. There we go. That one's ready to go. We'll put it up there. Now let's see what we got next. Uh, look at here. Here's a piece of kill cut that's uh, pretty grainy. It didn't get real hot. And I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to take this thing off and uh, put me a bigger one in there. Dan Collins got these things different sizes. And, uh, I'm going to put what I call Big Bertha, Big Boy in there. Because it's, it's grainy, it didn't get enough heat on it, and it's real thick, so i got to move a lot of mass. I probably ought to do it really what I would do normally, is I would do it with the direct percussion, using a big hollow copper bopper or a solid piece of copper. But since we're playing with this, we're going to do it this way. This is what we're going to do. All right, now then. Yeah. I'm going to get it out here on the end of my leg. Yeah. All right, let's see what we can do. 
Sorry for the setup delay, but if you change it over, you gotta change over. I guess I could have stopped the video and put it on pause. I just wasn't thinking. Here's my worst area right here. Pretty bad. Also gonna use this big heavy dude here on it. That run it I just ain't too happy with that. It, it did a little bit. I was disappointed though, it didn't hurt anything. It sure didn't help that much either. <laughs> it didn't hurt, didn't help. It wasted a lot of time. Well I look at it. Let's try this one. Now we did something. We're gonna come back this way and do it the opposite side. Right here. Now, I'm going to try this time. I'm, it's no doubt in my mind, and I think you know it if I say it, I can knock it out with this like this. I'm trying to learn indirect. I'm going to put a little hand pressure under it here and see what happens. And see if I can move bigger pieces with indirect. Thicker pieces. Ah, still not have it. It's not really a good piece of material. If you buy this, I'm not gonna reheat it. But if you got a kill, y'all run this butt up to about 700 degrees. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Taking it out with this. See that? Probably gonna break it right about where my fingers are at. Nope. There we go. That doesn't pretty good. I'm gonna leave it like it is. Don't do any more indirect or anything like that. Now, here's some stuff I'm gonna try to big one on too. This is some Texas material. 
It's not heat treated at all, but uh, I'm gonna see what I can do with the with the big with the big indirect stick. I'm just not getting them to uh, run with it very far. I can't get my angle right on it for some reason. There we go, got it then. I just need to change angle a little bit. On that small one, that, that angle I was using seemed to work pretty good on it. But might, be the, might be the way the end of the, of the so this is shaped. This part here might be why I'm at a change angle. Yeah. Yeah. It broke a pretty good chunk out, but it just like like half mooned it or something. It didn't uh didn't thin out at all like I wanted it to. Let me try this uh this lighter billet and see what happens here. I can't tell no difference. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I got that door open and the wind's blowing in. Some kind of something's blooming. It's a weird smell coming in here. It might be the neighbor burning something up in the yard. Something sneezing. Get this point down here it's in, the tip end of it, where the point is, and uh, then we'll look at the other side and uh, see what we need to do on it. We'll be about through with this one. i tell you what I just thought about. I think I'm going to leave this one like it is. Give you a little practice here on thinning it, get some little problems out of it on your own. I need to go back to that smaller deal because this isn't as heavy and bulky. The uh, one that's not as big around as this one. What I think is going on here. Yeah. 
There we go. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna take a little delay here and and uh, put the little one back here. I like that size smaller than this for some reason better. Maybe if my rock had been heat treated better, it might have made a big difference. This is all new to me. It's the way you learn. You get it and get at it. We're gonna get this big old waffle stopper out of the way. We're gonna put this one here back here. I'm going to turn my fan on. <clears throat> Maybe it won't make too much noise on the way. Now, here's another piece of Texas rock. We're going to try it out using a small one. It's the same material. It's not heat treated. We'll see what happens. They, they work a lot better. So far it's working better. It'll be a pretty good challenge right here, Vince, to see what happens. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Probably gonna use this heavy one. But if you look right there, I got two hinges right there. So I gotta get up high, I gotta set it up on top, instead of the edge, and hit back this way. See how it took it out? Set it up on top, hit back that way. Took that one out. That one's ready to go right there. I'm gonna do some real thin, I'm gonna do some medium. That one's pretty thin. Here's a piece of uh, Dover. And uh, I'm going to pop on it with this hollow top of belly and shake it up real quick. Got a lot of cracks in the base of it back here. Might not be able to get anything out of it. I'm gonna take this Dover. I never tried Dover indirect. I'm not gonna do any more percussion on it. 
we're gonna do all the right now and uh, see what happens. Start off with a heavier billet. Let run a nice piece off. That one did too. That one didn't do nothing. Let me another flat for. Try the lighter one now and see what happens. Just set it right there. Didn't run far. It's good, but just didn't go halfway across. I'm trying to get them to go halfway across. There we go. They went halfway across. I changed angle a little bit. Same. Uh, now, now let's go back this way. We'll try to come across and take this out. Right across there. I don't have any platform. So I'm going to make me one by direct. Get direct. To the person flake Now we got one spot here. I'm gonna get it out and I'm gonna be happy with this one. A big old stack of about 30 hinges stacked on top of each other. This is ugly. It looks like the layers of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> like ring after ring after ring. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna take this, hit straight down. Got all that out. And I'm gonna bring this edge up a little more. Yep, that didn't do nothing. There we go. Okay, that one's good enough. I'm not gonna go no further with it. Uh, I think we're gonna call it quits.